Hey there you great people. So I really hope you all enjoyed the cold blue cam uh, video I made um, yesterday. By the way, if this is the first time checking out my channel, uh, please do give me a try. Please do subscribe and check out some other uh, great videos and playlists because I've got about 180 videos now. That's a guess because I've not checked for a little while, but I've got a lot of good content and it's quite a variety of content uh, to suit many different tastes of videos, uh, you know, what you like. Anyway, uh, I've got a great he he video here for you all from obviously the Goodness in People YouTube channel run by the amazing Michael. The video is called Homeless Encampment Penthouse Edition. This sounds interesting. Let's check it out. Things you take for granted, someone else is praying for true, especially probably over the Christmas hey, period. Wow, well, that's a lot of road work. The building out. I'm not sure how they got there yet. A road through so, there. We're gonna find out. I don't know how they got up though. <laughs> okay. Why? Coming back the other direction. I'm still kind of confused how they got up there. Oh yeah, the same place here on the left, but it just went past the orange bit on the corner. If you've noticed as well with the video I did yesterday, I'm trying a slightly different angle as well um, with the actual uh, tablet here that I used to record. Uh, so you're probably sick of exactly the same thing. It ain't much different behind me, but I thought I'd do a little bit of a different angle with the corner of this nice uh, piece of art behind me. And my nice, uh, very nice cast iron wine rack, quite a large one that uh, I got for free for mum because it's left in the apartment that mum just bought. Um, which we're now renting out to a nice couple, so. Okay, after an hour of looking for these guys, I found out that they get there from the railroad tracks. So let's see what I can do. It's still operational railway track, I guess so. I'm sorry if was, I'm always sorting myself out, it just feels like I've got a jump underneath this uh, t-shirt. It feels like I'm being choked all the time. So keep fidgeting, I'm sorry. I'll try to stop fidgeting and keep still for a minute. I'm going to assume there's a hole in the fence somewhere. Yeah, there must be. Or they forced it open a bit like that, maybe. By the corner of the wall here. Where are they? I can't, I can't see anybody. Oh, there's one up here too. Oh, I can hey, see him, man. Anybody home over there? Anybody home? They Nobody's in trouble. They might not answer, Michael, because they might think you're the authorities or something. Oh, one's coming out. I was going to say they might think you uh, are the landowner or authorities. But at least one of them's coming up. How you doing, sir? Oh, there's a hole here? Oh, come on over. I'll give you... I've got some things for you. How you doing, brother? There's nice some to meet you. Cards with money on as well. Oh, I'm out here on Christmas giving out some stuff to my houseless neighbors. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't see you. You don't have a beanie. There's a beanie for you. Thank you. I got some gloves for you. Ooh, Here's some socks. All right, thank and let me give you some food. And here you go. Yeah, nice, uh, nice GoPro setup. Right, I just record everything because I, I got I got jumped once yeah. doing this, and uh, it was not nothing. He, the guy was just had a problem, and he didn't. And, and you're uh, still doing it. That's good for you. Oh yeah, yeah. It, nothing stops me. It's it, it, he was. I'm hoping he's got some help. Yeah, having a bad day. Well, just like to say quick, um, Michael does a hell of a good job doing what he's doing, and. Uh, Obviously, the GoPro does add an ever extra level, sorry, of security because uh, people know you're recording, so they're more uh, 
more or less likely that they're not going to bother you or uh, try and assault you or like Michael said here, it's happened to him before. Not only that, he's bringing this wonderful content every day, helping out these houseless or homeless people, uh, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I'd hate to think that anyone would ever put Michael off doing the great work he does. Uh, and if they did, I wouldn't be very happy and I'd go down to Tucson. I'm going anyway uh, in several months' time to Tucson, Arizona, after we've been in Minnesota. Um, I definitely want to see him keep on doing what he's doing because what else would he do, Michael? I think he's born to do this kind of work. It's, it's in his heart. You can feel it when he speaks to these people. He's passionate about this, this kind of work, helping the homeless. Your neighbors over here, I you like to think I am as well. Uh, not, Even my own small part. Oh, that's an active camp? Yeah. Okay, I thought that was abandoned. <clears throat> no, it just looks... <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head over here. Um, there's, a, there's a hole in the fence there too, just be careful of the train. Hey, anybody home? Anybody home, buddy? Oh, must be. It's like he's sleeping. Hello? I want to leave you, I'll leave you a few things, okay? Here's some food for you. How many are in there? Three? Yeah. Oh, then I'll give you everything I have then. <laughs> Here you go. And, uh, you guys got beanies? And there's three beanies for you, and there's some, there's some gloves for you. And here's some socks for you. Okay, guys? <laughs> Take care of yourself. I'm going to go visit your neighbor down here. He's right How you in the doing, Hey, I just gave everything away to these guys. I didn't know there were so many people up here. But I'm going to bring some stuff back and I'll give you some food and stuff, okay? All right, how many are in here? There's three in three here. More. All right, I'll bring... Uh, it, it may be an hour because I, I live up north. But, but I promise I'll come back right away and bring you some stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll be back. It looks to me as well, if you know it's behind his tent, that they've collected a load of branches and sticks and twigs and stuff. I'm guessing probably to make fires uh, on the dirt ground here where there's nothing that can catch light, well, except the wood, so they can cook, I'm guessing then. So I'm guessing, obviously, then, they probably haven't got little camping uh, stoves or cookers like Michael's been giving out recently. I know you, Connie, have bought several of them to take with us when we go to Arizona, the little cookers with the Coleman uh, gas bottles. Smart thing to do. They have some left. I mean, cold, have to go back home. Cold food's all right for a certain amount of time, but it's nice to get something hot in you at night, you know, especially when it gets so cold in Arizona, uh, late in the evenings, at night, and early hours of the morning, you know. Can't beat something hot inside, you know. There's some of the hand warmer things in his right hand as well, aren't they? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about all on the right here. Do you think it's so they can have fire so they can cook? Hello? Well, there's a gas bottle there, actually, saying that. Hello? Little blue one. I got some stuff for you here. I found some stuff. Oh, they have been having a fire right here. That's all right. I just had, I just have what I give to two people. So here's, Thank you. here's some food for you. All here's right. a lo loaf of bread I had left. Right. I'm mm -hmm. going to give you guys some, um, here's some, some hand warmers for you. I'm, I'm going to give these to the guys up there, your neighbors. Here's a couple beanies, some gloves. That's just all I have left in the car. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. A lot though. And there's three of these in there. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to come back and bring some water and some blankets for these guys. I'll drop some water off to you in, in another bag, and I'll just put it here. I won't even bother. All right, it, mm -hmm. I won't, the next time I come, if I leave some things, I'm just going to come and go. Take care, guys. You two guys, take care. You go. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. You bet. How much time you do, buddy? Too much, yeah. No problem, buddy. God bless you guys. <laughs> some hand warmers for you buddy Thank you. you bet take care guys
This is about an hour's drive away. Wow, for a distance there. How did he know they were here then? It was an hour's drive away from his home. Unless someone for social services had mentioned it to him or maybe emailed him or something. Please tell me quickly in the comments uh, what is a blues addiction. Did they mean heroin or something like that? I don't know. Probably tomorrow, Sunday. Today is Christmas. No one has ever become poor by giving. You Like I said just then before the video ended, um, what is a blues addiction? I mean heroin, crack cocaine, I, I, I don't have a clue. I've never heard of that uh, saying before in my whole life. I really hope everybody enjoyed that anyway. And remember to be thankful for all you have. As some people have almost nothing. I mean, look at the dire situation they were in there. Uh, at least they had a tent, I suppose, but not much more. Please also go ahead and check out my other great content and playlist on this, which is, of course, Paul B. Hustling 85. And like I said at the start, don't forget to like. And this is your first time viewing, second time viewing, whatever time, please subscribe and hit the notification bell also. Have yourselves a great day, and I really hope you enjoyed this video.